Welcome to our deep dive into node rotation, a key component of Shardium security, scalability, and decentralization. In the world of decentralized networks, keeping the system secure from adversarial threats is paramount. Shardium implements a strategic model known as node rotation, which involves a dual set structure of standby and active nodes. So what are standby and active nodes and how do they work? Active nodes participate in consensus and validation on Shardium. Standby nodes do not participate in consensus and validation until randomly selected to become active nodes. There is an active set composed of active nodes and a standby set composed of standby nodes, which are waiting to join the network when called upon. All nodes must start as standby nodes and are randomly selected to join the active set. Prior to entering the active set, they must successfully sync the relevant state data, then they turn into active nodes. Active nodes are assigned to shards and address ranges that they cannot pre-select or determine in advance. This is to prevent attacks such as Sybil attacks, bribery attacks, node collusion attacks, single shard takeover attacks, and others. Active nodes participating in the active set for the longest time are rotated out and reassigned to the standby set becoming standby nodes once more, with new standby nodes taking their place in the active set. So why does Shardium use node rotation? Well, it's because it enhances the triad of three key properties, scalability, decentralization, and security. Firstly, it helps increase Shardium scalability. Shardium requires active and standby nodes to join the network and increase the TPS and storage of the network via its auto-scaling design. Having standby nodes ensures a ready supply of nodes that can be rotated in to increase Shardium's ability to handle increases in TPS. Secondly, it enhances node decentralization by increasing participation opportunities. By transitioning nodes from standby to active status through a random selection process, Shardium ensures a wider distribution of participation in the network's consensus and validation processes. This method prevents the monopolization of these critical roles by a small group of nodes, thereby promoting a more decentralized network structure. Finally, node rotation bolsters Shardium security due to its sharded architecture. Let's dive deeper into how it increases security. Mitigation of long-term attack planning. By constantly rotating the oldest active nodes out and introducing new nodes randomly from the standby pool, Potential adversaries cannot predict which nodes they need to compromise in the future. Long-term attack strategies, which may involve identifying specific nodes to target over time, are disrupted by this unpredictability. Limiting power accumulation. One major concern in decentralized networks is the possibility of a few nodes or a group of nodes accruing significant power or influence over the network's operations. By ensuring that nodes are routinely rotated, no single node or group of nodes can maintain prolonged influence, thus preserving the decentralized essence of the network. Protection against bad actor nodes. In the scenario where a node may be compromised or begins to behave maliciously, the rotation system ensures that such nodes don't remain active indefinitely. This curtails the damage they can do over an extended period. Ensuring up-to-date nodes, technology and security measures evolve rapidly. By rotating older active nodes out, there's a higher chance that newer nodes, which might be equipped with the latest software and security patches, get introduced to the active set. Shardium's unique node rotation approach with its standby and active nodes delivers superior security, scalability, and decentralization. Thank you for watching. To learn more about Shardium and its innovative technologies, visit our website or join our community channels to stay up to date on all things Shardium. Stay secure and decentralized.